Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Disgaea 2 PC. Now, th this past week, for me anyway, like last week from your point of view, has been an, a very eventful week, let's put it like that. There's been a, a lot of good during that week. But there was also this press event from NIS, where they basically said, yeah, we're going to remake the original Disgaea. Now, I, I planned to do a Let's Play of the original Disgaea, so it was sort of like, oh. All right, then. We'll, we'll skip over to the second one instead. So that's why we're doing Disgaea 2 instead of the original Disgaea. But I think that's pretty much all I've got to say. So, yeah, I've sorted out the settings, etc., etc. So let's, let's get to it. The Netherworld. A lawless world filled with vicious monsters. The number of Netherworlds has expanded with the rise of demons, powerful enough to rule such worlds. The Overlords. Now, another world is about to fall prey to such darkness. Is it called Holt Village? I recognize this music. Are you really gonna go through with this? Hmm. It's almost the voices aren't as loud as I expected them to be. I might have to mess around with the settings a bit more. You don't have to do this, you know. I can go and find Xenon myself. Or maybe they reset when I started the game. You know how it is. Oh, yes, we do. We've already searched for him, and we haven't even found a clue. Besides, we've already finished all the preparations to summon him. Fried dragon, fairy oil, the Shura sword, clown shoes, and a worm bone. It's all here. It, I assume they're going to mention the fact she's got three eyes at some point. Now we just need to sacrifice a bit of life energy to summon Xenon. I hope. You hope? You just concentrate on defeating Overlord Xenon when he's summoned, okay? <sighs> Honey, this summon is gonna take more than just a little life. We're gonna die! Yeah! Why do you have to use our life anyways? It really is like, it feels like the voices are just a bit too quiet. Yeah, yeah, that's enough complaining. We need to sacrifice some life in order to summon Overlord Xenon. Besides, you're all demons. It's a year or two off your life. You'll probably spoil them anyway. What? Don't you want to be human again? Do you want all my hard work over the last 15 years to go to waste? <laughs> but me and Tarda were born demons. We don't care about being human. Oh, ho, 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 shut up, brat. Mommy still wants to be human again. So be a good little sacrifice now. You call this good mothering? Th thank you, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. So like, um... If you really need life energy, you can use mine, you know. Don't be absurd. You're the only human left in this world. Everyone else turned into monsters. We can't waste any of your precious life. I don't like this at all. Using sacrifices is just plain wrong. Do, do you even know what game you're in? Only fair fights are worth fighting. That's just my style. Okay, okay, you voiced your opinion. Now get ready for the summoning ritual. Alright, the subtitles were a bit off there. It's like I thought the sentence had finished, but alright. Did you even hear me? Devil woman? Oh, ho, ho, ho. But I am a devil. Thanks to Xenon's curse, I have no conscience. She randomly has a flute. Okay. By the 
the spirits of darkness and light. In the name of Adele, I hereby summon Overlord Xenon to his side! He thinks it didn't work. Oh, what went wrong? See, I recognize her from the DLC in Disgaea 5. Hmm? What happened? Where am I? See, I was expecting so sort of like her just going like, Well, this is new. It's... A girl? Well, she sure is cute for an overlord. You've gotta be kidding! She's Overlord Xenon? Overlord Xenon? Do you know my father? Father? Wait! You? You're Xenon's! That I am. For I am Rosalyn, the one and only daughter of Overlord Xenon. Sure thing, Blonde. You can't be serious! Episode 1, The Overlord's Daughter. Otherwise known as Blanc. So, Overlord Xenon has a daughter! You'd think we would have heard about something like that. Wait, you, Dad? What? I thought it was her cho- what? What? if she really is Overlord Xenon's daughter. Hey, you've got a point. Hey, Toots, are you really the Overlord's daughter? How dare you address me as Toots? Do you not know the proper way to speak to a princess? And to question my lineage, even after witnessing my noble visage, you people are truly deprived. Yeah, yeah, just answer the question. Very well. My heart is as broad as the night sky. Now behold my undeniable proof! Surely you must recognize this emblem of the four-leaf clover! Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, hmm. Oh! That four-leaf clover is... the symbol of Overlord Xenon! Indeed, you are not as ignorant as your garb and demeanor suggest. This emblem is the ultimate proof of my heritage. It is the bond between our souls as father and daughter. The four-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon. The three-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon's curse that we all bear. Unlike ours, it is said that only those close to Xenon himself bear the mark of the four-leaf clover. It looks like she really is his daughter. However, that or she's lying and she's got some kind of... trickster mark? I don't, I don't know. See, Adele? This is great! We can use her as a hostage! Oh! <laughs> I wonder if you're related to a certain someone. Are you nuts? This isn't good at all! Me? A hostage? Don't be absurd! I simply am not hostage material! Uh uh uh, but we performed the ritual! In the name of Adele, I summon Xenon! Hmm? Those are the terms. Until Adele meets Overlord Xenon, your highness is bound by the ritual to stay by Adele's side. You can't disregard these conditions, can you? Hm. Stupid summoning rituals. Rosalind is bound to you by the ritual. Not even I can disregard the terms of a summoning ritual. However unpleasant, there is nothing I can do. I mean... 
That's a bit strange for a summoning ritual. Like, like you have to, have to adhere to the terms of it. It just seems a bit strange, but it is Disgaea, isn't it? Whoa, 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 wait! You're kidding, right? You don't really expect me to go out looking for Xenon with her, do you? What's the problem? Be a man! You can't give up now. What about all that fair fight nonsense? It was probably your nonsense. You should talk to the people and monsters to get some information before you leave. I guess so. Talk to the Dimension Guide whenever you want to leave town. I don't know how she does it, but she can take you anywhere you want to go. So this is our hub then. There are a lot of dangerous monsters out there. I didn't want you two to get lonely, so I hired some people to go with you. Fighters are skilled at close combat. They have well-balanced offense and defense. And they will be your main attackers early on. Red Skulls are boy magicians. Red means that they use fire-type magic. Long-range magic attacks work really well. Healers are important for rejuvenation. They aren't skilled in close combat, so use a bow and do long-range attacks. Fighter Red Skull and Healer have joined your group. Oh, uh, always save before going on an adventure. Press the triangle button and select save to record log. To record log. No. Alright. To record log of your progress. I'll just like re record a log. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll be fine. You worry too much, Dad. Right. Settings. Yeah, see, like, I've got that down. So let's put that down a bit more, maybe. Then I can sort the volume settings myself later. Do a little playing around. Right, let's speak to people then. Fifteen years of searching and we still can't find him. Where is Overlord Xenon? Father will not readily show himself in front of altered humans like you. Huh, I wonder. Maybe he's just scared. Yeah, it's like mom slash stamina. Alright then, speak to the kids. Adele's sister. I want to go with you too. Take me. Yeah, yeah, one day. When you're bigger and stronger, I'll take you too. Yeah, you always say that. I'm already strong and all grown up. Sure you are. So Adele's brother. Why is only Adele still human? Is it because he's the main character? Whoa, steady on that. Is that why? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm, I'm assuming we basically... Ooh. Loads of other things around. We're pretty, we're pretty much gonna head straight out. I mean... Where's a pretty dude? Where is Overlord Xenon, dude? If you're out there, come on out, dude. All right then. Right, let's, let's let's head straight off. Basically, its controls feel a bit weird. It's like the sprites are not high res at all for PC. Hmm. So this is what the outside world is like. Maybe. The outside world? What the hell are you talking about? Where are you from? My mansion, of course. It is located somewhere in the land of Veldheim. Never heard of it. What? You don't know where it is? Well, that summon of yours is quite jarring. And truth be told, I have never been outside the mansion before. What? Are you serious? What kind of life can you live without ever going outside? Hm. I shall grant your request and tell you all about the superior lifestyle of a noble. The standard recital takes two whole days. Forget that! Look, all I want is for you to cooperate, okay? Cooperate? Let me make this perfectly clear. I will not abide being taken hostage. Too little, too late. Look, that's fine. I wasn't going to do that anyway. Then what are you going to do? I'm going to take you back to Xenon. Back to your father. What? Why would you do such a thing? Are we not enemies, you and I? Do you expect me to believe you? Look, princess, I only have one goal in mind. To defeat Overlord Xenon. After that? I won't need you anymore, but I do need you to guide me there. What did you just say? You are going to defeat my father? Yeah, why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> are you insane? You are but a mere human simpleton who does not know his place. I, d I do like the voice she's doing here. It's, it's definitely not a blonde voice, is it? 
has slaughtered 1,000 overlords. He is known as the god of all overlords. How are you going to defeat him? Go ahead and laugh, but I will be the one to defeat Xenon. Well, you sure are confident. Ah, I see. You are planning to use me as a hostage to threaten my father. I already told you, I'm not going to take you hostage. Especially since you're a girl. Ooh, it's this, this tone there. That's just a bit wrong. She's going to snap at him. Then what was the point of summoning me if you will not take me hostage? I have better ways to waste my time. We were trying to summon Xenon, but... Uh, that face? No, there's no excuse for it. I apologize for summoning you. I'm sorry. What? Hey, hey, don't come any closer. I don't really like girls. To admit one's own mistakes. You are truly honest, especially for an enemy. Okay, look, I will keep my promise. I will return you to your father. I pledge my honor on it. I still do not trust you. If you are truly honorable, why not simply release me? Uh, well, it should be obvious why. If it was that simple, I would have done so already. But breaking the terms of a summon requires the sacrifice of a life. My life. Your life? Very well. You do appear truthful. I shall escort you to my father's mansion. Wherever it may be. Right, so, s summoning experiments? Well, I I've got to go with experiments! What? I have no idea. So I'm assuming this is how I get extra characters in this. Sexiest of all time. So I may have a look at that in between the parts or something like that, but we'll go with the town fields. Tutorial number one. It's a pretty dude. Even this place is getting overrun with monsters. Prinny's dude. Is Xenon's curse getting stronger? I better hurry before everyone loses their memories and turns into real monsters. Dude. Huh, you fool. Take you to my father? Do you think I would blindly obey you? Y yes. All enemies shall meet with death. These lowly monsters shall feast on you. Then I shall finally be free of these odious circumstances. <laughs> I, I mean, uh... I'd turn around if I were you. Ouch! Critical hit! What are you doing?! You dolts! I am the daughter of Overlord Xenon! Such a violent act shall not be forgiven! Did the Prinnies not speak? Dude? Like we care, dude! Our boss is gonna take out Overlord Xenon! So eat Prinny bombs, dude! It's... it's... it's too high-pitched for what we know in the future, dude. What did you say?! Are you confessing to be lackeys of some charlatan plotting to kill my father?! You got it, dude! We're lucky we found you out here, dude! Uh, hey! What happens now? Fight to the death, dude. Obviously, we kick their ass! Oh, yes! Excellent plan! However, there is a slight problem. What? What kind of problem? I... I do not know how to fight. But you had a gun in the intro. You're joking, right? I do not joke with peasants. Uh, okay. This is the fighting tutorial. Would you like to view this tutorial? Uh, yeah, because stuff could be different from what I know. So, you really don't know how to fight? No, I do not. Great. Alright, now listen up. Tutorial basic fighting. I'm going to teach you basic fighting. 
During the tutorial, a character's equipment will be changed. It will automatically go back after the tutorial. Position the cursor over the base panel on the map and press the X button. Like this. Yeah, now select the characters you want to bring into battle and call them out with uh, the X button. So I do know this bit. It's like, come on. If you make a mistake and call out the wrong character, put the cursor over the character and press the circle button. That cancels the move. Yes, so far it's exactly the same. Try bringing out a character and giving them commands. I'm great at hand-to-hand -hand combat, so have me move next to an enemy. After moving your character, select the attack command. You finish commanding the character, but that doesn't start the attacks right away. Why not? When you want to execute your commands, bring up the menu using the triangle button and select Execute or End Turn. Right now, I'm going to select Execute. End this! You've just finished a series of commands. Input command, triangle button, Execute. Just remember the flow. This doesn't seem very efficient. Why don't the attacks occur immediately? This way, you can plan combos to attack the same enemy continuously or form chain attacks with allies next to you. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, let me show you an example. First, I'm going to input a command to attack this penguin-looking thing, just like before. It's a pretty dude. And then you get a command to attack the same enemy. If there is an ally standing next to you when you melee attack an enemy, there's a chance to perform a chain attack. Or you can make other characters uh, attack the same enemy continuously, creating a combo for greater damage. Watch closely. Nothing to it. When more than one of your characters are out, your commands are executed in the same order they were inputted. You can't cancel an action such as an attack or special after you have used execute, so be careful. Ah, I see now. Planning uh, out your tactics is an important part of a battle, right? Yeah. You've learned pretty fast. Of course I do. After all, I am the daughter of Overlord Xenon. But what happens when you select end turn? Hey, wait, don't... End it yet. Ready, dude. Yeah. Can't believe what she did, dude. Ready, dude. Pretty, dude. dude. Oh, well done. When you end your turn without thinking, this is what happens. I see. That was an important lesson. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Me? Of course not. Don't be silly. <laughs> now, what happens when you are no longer able to fight? You can revive your fallen characters by going to the hospital and paying them hell money. But if all your characters become unable to fight, it's game over. So, watch out for that. Hmm, so the best way to fight is for all of us to gang up on an enemy and beat them up one by one. That sounds pretty unfair, but yeah, it's a good tactic, especially when your enemy is stronger than you. Also remember that you can deal more damage if you attack from the side than from the front, and from the back more than the side. That makes sense. I'm ready for battle. If there's anything else you don't understand, use the triangle button to go to the menu and read the tutorial, okay? Additional explanation. Use X and LB, which will be... yeah, left button will be L1, L1, to zoom in and out. Use this to get a good view of the map. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it said X, which is not X. Yeah. So what's X? I don't know. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh dear. We'll, we'll have to deal with this for now until I figure it out. Right, so let's get basically what we were shown before. So I'll put you there. Let's go and, can the animations go a bit faster? That's the thing. Um, like fast, fast. I'll do. Fast, 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 yeah. What's cursor mode A, though? Not sure. 
All right, so move you there. Can I do the towel? So that would... Oh. I guess not. I'll check later. Maybe it's just like as part of the tutorial. I can't... Because that is entirely possible. Do, do, do. Put you there. Right. So, attack. Attack. Very special of fire. There. Heal. Mm. That works for me. And attack. No, I can't. So we'll tell him to defend. I'm happy with that as the actual thing that we do. So end turn. Oh, you died. Didn't expect that. Pretty dude. Pretty dude. <laughs> Lovely bit of counter in there. And we'll go with attack. We'll go for the side here. <laughs> so that should be that one taken care of. We go after you. You're not going to be able to do much, but you can do just a little simple attack on it, I suppose. Yeah, be on that one. Right, so, end turn. No, oh, didn't expect you to die that fast. There we go. Stage clear. Do I, do I always have to wait for that? I assume not. Are you sure you want to skip the story? No. Is it going to be asking me that again constantly? Adele, you're back. The shops are open now. The shops? What? You don't know about shops, Rosalind? Or whatever. And then, let me explain it to you, honey. Yes, I'd like that. There are three kinds of shops where you can buy and sell items. The weapon merchant, armor merchant, and the general store. You're going to need money to buy items, naturally. You might want to buy better equipment for your next battle. So I need money. Never tried this shopping thing. I find it surprisingly exhilarating. I don't spend all my money. Depending on whether you decide to focus on weapons or armor, your fighting style will change. Each character can only equip one we weapon and up to three armor pieces. Don't forget to go to the hospital to heal your friends when they are hurt. I understand. Now, let us depart. Alright, so let's make sure we do heal up. It's probably best. Yeah, 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 I know how the healing works. There's a heal all. Alright, so let's have a look at items. I'll focus on weapons first. I know weapons, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not reading all that, come on. Right, so, bye. It's so weird hearing this music all over again. It's just like, I, d I do like that about the disguise, like the music just keeps repeating. Alright, so let's get that. Ching. Get a new gun. It's like I'd want to save, maybe get a trumpet. Alright, so that's 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 enough for now, I think. For Adele, we can. Oh god, it's like finding it. Yeah, I was just trying to find like where the weapons were, etc. No armor or anything like that. Okay. Right, so I'm thinking we'll actually end this part here before we head off and do. Is it going to be tutorial 2? Tutorial 2. We'll start with that in the next part. So we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.